Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. With spring break over, students returned to El Dorado High School less than two weeks after a brutal assault on a teacher. The student accused of attacking her has been arrested, but some parents say the school still isn't safe. I can't send my daughter back here. I'm coming to talk to the principal now I can't. I was scared to send her before this happened and now I just can't. I mean, I don't know. I don't like the way the state forces us to send them to schools that aren't safe. The Clark County School District plans to implement panic buttons that teachers and staff can use to call for help. Plus, an assembly candidate accused of robbing a bank appears in court. You're being charged with robbery and burglary of a business. These are felony offenses. LaJuana Clark is accused of robbing a Chase Bank on Craig Road. Her bail has been set at $10,000 and she's due back in court on May 3rd. Last week, Clark told the Review Journal she plans to withdraw from the Assembly District 3 race. Two fires this morning leave a total of 23 people displaced. Officials say the first fire broke out at 520 this morning at an apartment complex on Koval Lane near Harmon Avenue. And the second one started just after 8 at a home near Vegas in Rancho Drives. There was a fire in the backyard of the house and it extended to the house, got up into the attic with these strong winds winds probably pushed it along in the attic. Thankfully, no one was injured in either of the fires. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your gardens partner for every blooming thing. Speaking of winds, Clark County is advising residents to limit their outdoor activity, issuing a dust advisory. The National Weather Service's red flag warning also remains in effect until 9 tonight due to strong winds and low humidity in southern Nevada. Any fires that develop will likely spread quickly. Here's a look at the conditions. Still windy for the next hour, but the gusts should lessen by 9 p.m. Temps getting down to the 60s overnight. On Wednesday, some breezes with sunny skies, a high of 86 and low of 63 degrees. On Thursday, the gusts return at around 30 miles per hour before tapering off on Friday. Temps also cool to the 70s until Saturday. In health, a federal mental health initiative is announced right here in Las Vegas. Health Secretary Javier Becerra says the U.S. government will provide nearly $105 million in grants to help the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline move to a new number, 988, including a million bucks for Nevada. When someone takes the time of deciding to take the path of not committing suicide but dialing three digits, 988, we have to make sure they don't get a busy signal or someone who puts them on hold. Meanwhile, Governor Steve Sisolak announced Nevada will invest $20 million of American Rescue Plan money in its crisis stabilization centers. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A Las Vegas icon's former home goes on sale for $2 million. The son of the late Bob Stupak, a.k.a. the Polish Maverick, remodeled this home in Rancho Circle with contemporary fixtures and light colors, like this dining room and kitchen. Stupak's legacy involves casinos, including one that laid the foundation for the Strat. Plus, a local real estate firm officially opens a small hotel in North Las Vegas. Nigro Development held a ribbon cutting this morning for the 119-room Town Place Suites. Today what this represents is jobs. Somebody laid the floor down, somebody put the walls up, and somebody painted this place. And for us at the Latin Chamber of Commerce, that's what we're all about. The extended stay hotel is located near the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Sports, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders will open the 2022 preseason in the Hall of Fame game in Canton, Ohio, taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. The game will kick off at 5 p.m. Eastern on August 4th and will feature commentary from the Sunday Night Football crew. And UNLV added two basketball players to the roster, landing former Colorado player Elijah Parquet and former Oklahoma player Elijah Harkless from the transfer portal. Both are graduate transfers with one year of eligibility remaining. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Aces are the plus 350 favorites at the Westgate Superbook to win the WNBA championship. The Connecticut Sun are the 4-1 second choice. The Seattle Storm and defending league champion Chicago Sky are tied for the plus 450 third pick. 
the Phoenix Mercury are 6 to 1, the Minnesota Lynx are 10 to 1, and the Washington Mystics are 18 to 1. The rest of the teams are 30 to 1 or higher. The regular season starts May 6th. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Visit Laughlin, an easygoing getaway filled with good food, good people, and good times on the river. A Henderson man is taking his stories of the Nevada outback and putting them all in a book after spending many years on the state's back roads and collecting stories from seldomly heard locals. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has more from the author about why rural Nevada appeals to him the most. Renee? Jen, John Gliona may live in Henderson, but he really only feels at home once he passes Indian Springs heading north on U.S. Highway 95, driving to places that are barely big enough to qualify as a dot on the map, and begins telling stories of people with names like Flash, Mr. Cool, Smokey, and Chicken Dave. More than 40 of these stories, many of which were originally published in the Review Journal, have been collected in his new book, Outback Nevada, Real Stories from the Silver State. Since moving to Nevada in 2012, Gliona figures he's driven tens of thousands of miles on the state's back roads by collecting stories of seldomly heard locals. For readers who may want to get a taste of Nevada's outback without really committing to a full-scale adventure, Gliona had this to say. When you want to sort of commune with people who have, you know, generations of family lineage, either farmers or small town business owners or ranchers or or, or Native Americans, you got to go out there where they are. He also says we're in danger of losing some of these places. People are dying and Nevada is full of ghost towns. But he says by exploring these places, we may be able to contribute to their survival in some way. Jen. In entertainment, an event for wine lovers is coming to the Las Vegas Strip. Wine Spectator's Grand Tour will take a stop at Resorts World Las Vegas on June 4th, featuring samples from wineries from around the world. A portion of the proceeds will fund scholarships for culinary and wine-related programs. For tickets, visit grandtour.winespectator.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.